Charlize Theron, Nicole Kidman, and Margot Robbie were playing a game of Who Would You Rather Celebrity Edition. And well, the winner of the game turned out to be Michael B. Jordan. Oh. Then let's get rid of Trevor. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. oh. Yeah, okay. Well, so the next time Charlize was on The Ellen Show, she decided to give her a little bit of a surprise and introduce Charlize to her celebrity crush Michael B. Jordan. Michael, come here. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Y'all want to talk? Or <laughs> we have something? We're friends. Oh, you are friends? Uh, yeah. Really good ones, too. <laughs> really, really good ones. Yeah. I'm leaving. I'm going. Right. Can you take me with you? <laughs> no, you stay. You stay. In a hilarious moment at the Jimmy Fallon show, they were playing a game in which you have to guess what the other person's answer is. And well, Ariana Grande revealed who her celebrity crush is. Who was my first celebrity crush? <laughs> A little bit, a little embarrassing. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> and well, she actually got to meet Jim Carrey once. Here's the clip. <laughs> Before Nick Jonas was married, apparently he had a big crush on Amelia Clark and was a big fan of Game of Thrones too. And well, he got a chance to meet her at BBC Radio 1. <laughs> Amelia Clark, Nick Jonas, Nick Hi. Jonas, Amelia Clark. Hi, I'm good, how are you? You, you really set me up for good. failure to not what do look you mean? cool at all. Why? <laughs> One of your biggest fans is in the building. You can be, you can be a fan. I can, no, I'm a huge fan. I'm not, I actually... not sure if this counts as a celebrity, but Jennifer Lopez's cousin had a huge crush on Cristiano Ronaldo. So when they were at the club, Jennifer Lopez was nice enough to ask Cristiano if he can come over and say hi to her cousin. Hello. Give me that. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday today. When I saw him, I couldn't believe I was like, she's my little cousin. I have to give her shit. A very awesome moment caught on camera was when Chance the Rapper got to meet Beyonce mid-interview. Drake? Oh my god, that was awesome! <gasps> that happened. At a Capitol Radio interview, Sean Mendez described the first time Camila Cabello got to meet Justin Bieber and how excited she was. So I remember like we've gone to so many awards shows and been there at the same time. And every she time like, I remember me during the award show, yeah. I, Justin Bieber's right here. I hear him. <laughs> I think he's yeah. at Soundtech. I can hear him. <laughs> What was it? What was the award show that you hugged him on stage? You are not going to believe yeah. this. I just hugged Justin Bieber. I'm like, God, you are really a fangirl. Yeah, and I sent Sean the gift, too. Back in 2016, Michelle Obama got really excited when she got to meet Bradley Cooper at The Ellen Show. You know who's better at this than me is Bradley Cooper. Bradley! Even though we don't know if it's her celebrity crush, it was quite clear by some flirty comments that Michelle really liked Bradley Cooper. Because, you know, because if it should rip, it's much better to not have underwear on. <laughs> for us. <laughs> it's good for us, right, ladies? Yeah. While Jennifer Lawrence was doing an interview, Jack Nicholson's head suddenly popped up. And well, Jennifer Lawrence got super excited to meet him. Oh <laughs> no politics, Jack, no. George. If you want to talk politics, we can. I love Jim. Oh my God! Thank you. I loved all your movies. <laughs> oh really? Do I look like a new girl? Really? <laughs> I thought of it. <laughs> Way back in the day, when Miley Cyrus was doing an interview in Vancouver, the host decided to surprise her with a call from her idol Hillary Duff. And while some of the comments Miley made during the call were somewhat interesting. Because I know that you want to have a career like her, because she does everything. The TV, the singing, the acting. Uh, uh, Hillary, I wish you could see Miley's face right now. Her mouth is just open. Oh, well, we met not too long ago, and um, I had such a good time, and you're so... And also, I never got a chance to say this, but thank you for making it cool to be a good girl and to want to be a good role model. Thank you for making that cool, because that's something that really I look up to a lot for that. In an interview with Cardi B, when asked who was her dream collaboration, she was quick to respond with Lady Gaga. If I could collaborate with somebody, I would love to collaborate with one of my idols. Definitely gotta be Lady Gaga. I wanna let you know that I love you, bitch. A few months later at the Grammy, she got to meet her in person, and we could see a very excited Cardi B.
Apparently, Taylor Swift's celebrity crush was Justin Timberlake, and a few years ago at The Ellen Show, she got the chance to meet him. You didn't see him. You were hiding him? It, no, we hid you. Why did you do no, that? He was already on multiple interviews, Emma Stone has said that she was a huge fan of the Spice Girls. So one day in an interview, where she was promoting her movie, the host decided to surprise her with a message from Mel B. But she couldn't make it today, but she, she loves you. Wait, yeah, Mel B did. could have been here? Yes. I'm gonna cry. Hi, Emma. Oh my god, is Mel B talking to me? Yes. Oh my god, I'm so ready? excited. I'm legitimately go. crying. Oh, I'm no, the no, biggest Spice Girls fan ever. Okay, You're here I go. You're so cute. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. Hi, Emma. This is Mel B here. Oh my god, from First the Spice Girls. I want to say I absolutely adore you. I love you. Olympic gymnast Simone Biles and all her teammates got to meet Zac Efron, after she previously mentioned in an interview that she had a massive crush on Zac Efron. Will you do it now for him? Because we've got time. When I found out you guys were fans, I was like, what am I doing sitting here on the couch? I have to come see you, like, come hang out and support you guys. He hopped on the plane. Wait, I immediately, like, got on the plane. He's even more gorgeous in person. Kesha once got to meet her celebrity crush Jerry Seinfeld, but sadly for her, she got rejected. I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you a hug? No, thanks. Please? No, thanks. A little one. Yeah, no, thanks. Oh. <laughs> in the middle of an interview with Anne Hathaway, Mariah Carey appeared in the background. And well, that's when we all found out that Mariah is Anne Hathaway's idol. Like, she's two arm lengths away right now. I'm gonna meet her at when it's when the time's right. I just love that this is on camera right now. Can you, is she in the background? If I stand like this way? Okay. <laughs> A very meaningful moment for Nicki Minaj was when she got to meet her celebrity idol, Lauren Hill. She even bowed to her when they finally met. No, 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 please, please. I, I, I'm in love with you. Mm. Um, your, your spirit, your mind, everything about you. One of the sweetest moments of the Graham Norton show was when Amelia Clark got to meet her longtime crush Matt LeBlanc. You can even see Amelia blushing when speaking to him. Did you get to yes. chat with everyone backstage? Um, yeah, kind of. Did you get to talk to him? Yeah, kind of, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia Clark loves Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> Actually blushing. Um, yeah, I just think you're wicked. <laughs> it's a known fact that Billie Eilish has a big crush on Justin Bieber since she was a kid. She even made a vine about it. And at the last Coachella, she finally got the chance to meet him. And they hugged probably for as long as a hug can be. Well, pretty sure this one doesn't count as a meeting. But Kendall Jenner talked about being in the same room as Brad Pitt and how she got all nervous around him. Uh, that was the first time that I was there when he was there. And I, I literally left early. I like couldn't even, I just saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and it was so good and he just like gets better with age. So I was like, I gotta go. And they were saying like, don't ever meet your superhero or whatever. I don't know, I just like love him so much. I'm like, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Shortly after Pink revealed she has a massive crush on Johnny Depp, Jimmy Kimmel revealed that Johnny was backstage and invited him to the show. If, um, oh. if there is a, uh, no. you don't. Yeah. A kind of strange moment for everyone was when Diane Keaton revealed she had a celebrity crush on Justin Bieber. I like that boy. Yeah. He's a man now. He's 21. Even better. Yeah. We say it's weird because of, well, the age difference. But what Diane didn't know is that Justin Bieber was backstage, and he decided to surprise her mid-interview. No! 